if you keep catering to your flesh, or me first, mm -hmm. I talk Christ first. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, me, 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 me. You're catering to the flesh. That's you. And not and never Jesus or oh, others. That's you. That's a problem. It's a problem. Amen? It's a problem. We ought to be able to identify with Christ Jesus. That when an unbeliever comes to you, they should be able to see some fruits. You see what kind of fruit this brother got? How are you going to know? I allow the brother to talk. And when the brother talking, this brother's not conscious that I'm searching him. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying with the word that comes out of him. I'm trying it with the word that is in me. Amen. And if it don't line up, it is not coming from the same source. Amen. That's true. Come on, saints of God. If you don't line up to the spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. He says when the spirit of truth comes in you, when the spirit of truth comes in you, he shall bring you, bring all truth to your understanding. Somebody said the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth. Say, need to come in you. Now there's no shouting, running and playing, and hopping, rolling on the ground, and uh, spooling on your motors, and oh, the Holy Ghost is good, but you ain't changing. Jesus. How could you get power and you can't rule your flesh? How can you, why can't you put your flesh and keep it under subjection? If you got all that Holy Ghost power, start with you. Exercise the authority over yourself. Before you can exercise it over a demon. If you can't condition your flesh, you can't cast out no devil. Hallelujah. They will say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? you? I don't even know your identity. I don't even know where you're tied into. Somebody said the real thing. The real thing. Brings change. Brings change. So he says that. Paul is telling us. That it is the spirit that do modify the deeds. Somebody said deeds. Deeds. Of the body. Look at me funny. You. Oh, I know you're sitting down here and you, you really think you got it, everything together. You think you just, oh, that's on the mark. But there's some deeds. There's some sinful deeds that you are still fighting with. Yes. yourself to be dead to sin and lie unto God. Hmm. I know it's not a this is not a sermon where, where I'm preaching, firing, grim spinning, and where the power of God moving and ripping through and uh, uh, we used it also you like to feel good. And after the power of God ripping through, ain't nothing rip off of you. And said, we have an awesome move. Did you change? Oh, Pastor Saul, preach. <laughs> but you go to sin. It's time for the church to be ready. 
It's time to change. When you're ready, we got to get ready. Going to church and being a slave for many years and many years, because it don't mean you're in the kingdom. Amen. And when you're not in the kingdom, it becomes religious. And religious people enforce law. Because they know they're not in the kingdom and they want no one to go in the kingdom. You all know what I'm saying. So they impose law. But you don't need no law. You need grace. Amen. I say you don't need no law. You need grace. Because law make nothing perfect. Amen. Law expose. That's right. <laughs> oh boy. But when it is exposed. When your problem and your struggle is being exposed. You need a solution. Amen. To bring an end to the problem. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Y'all with me? Yeah. We just gonna walk through this, huh? We gonna walk through it. Yeah. I'm helping you. The church gotta look good, smell good, and act good. That's true. Yeah. Look good, smell good, and act good. That's right. We can't say we the church and then acting terrible. That's right. That's the truth. We can't say we the church and then bringing Christ to an open shame oh, again. True. We can't say we're the church, amen, and doesn't identify with Christ. That's true. We're unbelievers so hard to figure where you is. Oh, Jesus. Why are you having a good conversation with an un unbeliever and don't even convict her or convict him? That's true. Because you're talking just like them. Yeah. Amen. Then you talk yourself, you, you say I'm the church. Hmm. What kind of church you is? You ain't no church. Light have no fellowship with darkness. Why y'all so tight? Mm. <laughs> That's true. And y'all two is not of the same nature. One of the nature of sin and one must be of the nature of righteousness. Why y'all so tight? Y'all buddy buddy. Oh, this is my buddy. I'm not letting him go. I'm letting her go. We, 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 we know one another a long time. But let me tell you something. When you go to hell, you're getting to hell for yourself. That's right. Amen. When he go to hell, he going to hell for himself. Yes. There's nobody going to hell together. Amen. Good Jesus. That's right. Amen. That's a good point. Because you ain't got no time to socialize in hell. That's right. When I check it, there's no socializing in hell. You don't say, hey, come. You ain't got time to say to look who there. You and too much pain to look around to see who's there. Who I know, I, I don't care who I know. You here? Are you and you're there for eternal? Jesus, oh God. Because you, you didn't make a stand for Christ Jesus. You deny him. Because you don't want them to think you're strange. Boy, they don't really think I'm crazy. So I'm not crazy. I said, folks, I'm going to think you're crazy. Yeah, oh, they, oh, you spending all that time in church? You got to be crazy. That's all right. And so you trying to act like you got some kind of sin. No, they don't really think. They're a crazy woman right that time. You know, they, they spent three hours in that church. Not What's your <laughs> revelation? Were they crazy? <laughs> Gotta be out of their mind. There's no way I can come and spend three hours in a church. No, my, I, I'm too busy. You gotta be crazy. Holy God. And you try to you trying to make them think that you got sex and they're already looking at you like crazy. She tried to convince me to go. I'm not coming because you're crazy. Because the Bible says that hey, the, the things of God is foolish to the world. Yeah. They don't understand. They cannot. Because they are of a different breed. Different source. Never. So never. Yeah. Do you got the real Holy Ghost? Do you got the real Holy Ghost? Amen. Just look at somebody else. Say, do you got the Holy Ghost or do 
you have a ghost. My Lord. Because some folks in church got ghosts. Possessed and running up and down wild. And not saying, not changing. You got to change. You just can't come to church and stay the same. You got to change. If the word hits you, don't get mad with the preacher. Amen. The preacher only doing his work. Get mad with the sauce. Because <laughs> if you're mad with the preacher, you're mad with the sauce. If a word convict you that in, in certain areas, that's the area that you need to change. Amen. Stop telling yourself, oh, he ain't talking to me. Who I'm talking to? <laughs> talking to God, talking to you. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I'm preaching to, yes, I'm preaching to you all. You can get on what you want. What for you? You take. Okay. And don't worry what for the Lord. Let that person decide what for them. You don't decide what for you. I know that ain't for me. Yeah, this for me. That